Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Zaki Chemistry. Today is uh, our topic uh, begin with the uh, next uh, lesson. The lesson is about uh, combustion and flame and uh, we are going to discuss about the first topic from this particular lesson. That topic is combustion. Combustion is uh, basically a process in which uh, any substance that undergoes process of burning in the presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide, heat and light. Or we can say that a process in which oxidation of the substance, oxidation of the substance occurs to result in the formation of carbon dioxide, heat and light. As uh, oxygen is the supporter of combustion, the presence of oxygen here in this particular process plays a very important role. In this, in this particular process, as substances, substances undergo uh, process of burning to form carbon dioxide, heat and light, there are certain examples of this uh, process of combustion. For example, if we will take a wood, we, uh, we burn it. This wood, it burns in the presence of oxygen and it results in the formation of carbon dioxide. Also, heat gets evolved from this process as well as light gets evolved from this process or heat and light is formed during this particular process along with the formation of carbon dioxide. Uh, burning of paper also forms carbon dioxide, heat and light. Such, uh, such, uh, such, uh, such combustions are very much fast or they occur at a very uh, fast rate. Such combustion is called as fast combustion. However, there are certain processes, for example, the respiration process. A respiration process in which uh, an important process which occurs uh, um, in our uh, inside our body or inside the cell of our body in which the food which is stored the food which is stored in the, um, in, in, the in protein myoglobin of our cell that undergoes uh, the process of respiration in which that particular food that combines with oxygen to result in the formation to result in the formation of a lot of energy a lot of energy besides this there is the formation of two byproducts one is carbon dioxide and another is water. Besides this, a lot of energy, a lot of energy is released and that particular energy is used for carrying out various life activities. <coughs> on, uh, on, the base of, on the base of this particular process, these uh, substances which are which surround us, they have been classified into two types. Some of the substances are those which undergo combustion or which undergo burning in the presence of oxygen, while some of the substances are those which do not undergo burning in the presence of which, which do not undergo burning in the presence of oxygen or which doesn't undergo uh, oxygen. Such substances are called as non-combustible substances. It is the substances which are surrounding us are classified into combustible substances as well as non-combustible substances. Combustible substances are those uh, substances which undergoes which undergoes process of combustion which undergoes process of combustion to form carbon dioxide along with the uh, formation of heat and uh, light. Uh, there is uh, the example of fa uh, fabric or the example of uh, this cloth, example of citra, citra is the combustible substance. The example of LPG uh, or we can say fumes like liquefied petroleum gas or compressed natural gas. The example of kerosene, the example of petrol, the example of diesel. These are the uh, combustible substances. All these substances they undergo the process of combustion. Well, there are there are some other substances we do not undergo the process of combustion. Like stone, it doesn't undergo the process of combustion. Brick, it doesn't undergo the process of combustion. Soil, sand, iron nails, copper objects or copper utensils, and water, it doesn't undergo the process of combustion. Such substances are called as non non combustible substances. Does not show combustion. This process of combustion it occurs under certain conditions or certain conditions are necessary to undergo this uh, process of combustion. The first uh, condition is that uh, the substance which undergoes combustion that must be a combustible substance or uh, we can say that the presence of combustible substance is necessary for the process of combustion, presence of combustible substance. The among these substances, any substance can undergo combustion but if it will be this uh, non-combustible substance, it will, it, it will doesn't, uh, it, it, it does not undergo the process of uh, combustion even if oxygen will be present there. Next is the presence of uh, oxygen, as oxygen is the supporter of combustion, the presence of oxygen is necessary for the process of combustion. The next, uh, the third and the most important uh, point is the uh, 
uh, ignition temperature ignition temperature uh, ignition temperature is it is a minimum temperature a minimum temperature at which any substance catches fire yani ek aisa darja hai jis par koi bhi substance jo hai it undergoes it undergoes the process of combustion ya yeah, it, it 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 shows the process of uh burning that particular temperature is called as ignition temperature if we will take the example of paper this paper it goes it undergoes the process of uh, combustion at the ignition temperature of 233 degree celsius this was all about uh, today's topic have a nice day